Hi guys, Tom from Cool Pro here. I have another video interview, this time with Zach Kornhauser. As well as being a musician, Zach works as an audio engineer, and more importantly, a mastering engineer, at Atlantic Records in New York City. Zach has worked with people like Sia, Portugal the Man, and Jason Mraz, and his client list only continues to grow. You can find his social media and website and all the other good stuff in the description below. Just the two of us. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sure. Good time. <laughs> thank you again, Zach, for um, offering to do this. It's fantastic. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you for, for having me on board for this. This is this is a lot. I love doing these types of things. They're, they're a lot of fun. Oh, that's all right. As long as you enjoy it. <laughs> for anyone yeah. that doesn't know you, um, can you tell us a bit about who you are and what you do? Yeah, so I'm Zach. Um, I work at Atlantic Studios in New York in the main uh, corporate office for Atlantic Records. Um, I am primarily uh, a mastering engineer um, for the studio and for the label. Um, but at the same time, we have to do a lot of different, wear a lot of different hats in the studio. Um, so one day I might be, you know, actually just recording an artist. Um, but a lot of days now I'm doing uh, a lot of mastering um, for mm -hmm. label artists and all that, which I really do enjoy. and using the y'all's products makes it that much more enjoyable oh that's good that's very kind of you to say that thank you yeah, of course. <laughs> um so how long have you actually been in the industry uh and how did you get your first break because that is always that that's the crux question isn't it that is it <laughs> sure is i think i mean if we're counting like even in like days of like you know training and and uh although we're always training and and getting you know and learning and all that but from those early days i'd say it's been about 11 12 years um and i think the the thing that was like kind of like the breaking thing for me was probably when i moved to new york um this was probably like uh, let's see six years ago i think and i i went to go get my master's at nyu for music business and in that process i came here to intern in the studio um, at that point, I had already um, I had interned at a few studios back home in Houston, uh, where I'm from. And um, from there, it just kind of just grew naturally. Um, interning here, it's then turned into being an assistant, an engineer, and now as a mastering engineer. Um, and I've been here, yeah, almost, well, yeah, five and a half years or so. Mm. But you must be enjoying it because you haven't shown any signs of moving on or anything like that so far. So. <laughs> no, I mean, it's 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 amazing in the amount of the types of artists that come through the doors here. It's very vast and it keeps, you know, the work really interesting. I think as a mastering engineer, a lot of other mastering engineers, I'm sure will say the same thing where, you know, being able to work on so many different types of music um, is not only enjoyable, um, you know, as a as a listener of, and a fan of music, but as a as someone who works on recordings it keeps it really interesting and yeah the, the 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 inflow is increasing here which is which is nice our operations are are continuing to grow so there's nothing to really complain about on that front cool that's good that's good um as a lover of gear and technology um yeah. do you mind me asking what your day-to-day -day tools are so just the main pieces i'm using um so i have over here it's a macbook pro m1 mm -hmm. um those computers are powerful it's crazy um and with that, I'm using um, just within our ecosystem of the studio, I have um, an Apollo, a UAD Apollo X8P, I think it is. And from there, that's just being the clock at the moment. Um, but from there, it's spewing out optical audio into um, the, the Hugo 2. Um, I have a MyTech Brooklyn DAC over here um, that I occasionally go to um but honestly the 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 hugo has been doing the heavy lifting which is nice um and for my daw i'm using uh wave lab from steinberg okay uh, yeah. i love that one and from there i'm using a lot of different types of plugins um plugin alliance perchoff eq pro uh, fab filter stuff mm -hmm. um a couple of bells and whistles randomly thrown in um i have we were using the Focal Canta twos for uh for our monitoring speakers, um and then I've got a few headphones over here. One I've got these Odyssey, um what is it the MX four? Mm -hmm. I really oh, love those. They're headphones, aren't they? Yeah. Oh absolutely. yeah, they're it's a treat. Honestly, they're it's it's like it's it's nuts. That impaired with with again with the with the Hugo and the Mojo. I mean, mm -hmm. forget about it, right? <laughs> uh, and I and then uh, we have a a pair of 
Sennheiser HD 650s over here. The, fantastic. Another reliable, fantastically reliable set of headphones we find. Yeah, exactly. Tried and true. Can't go wrong with them um, and all that. And we have some outboard gear here. Um, we have a, um, a manly massive passive, a really a, like a, kind of an old one. Um, what probably I would I, I don't I don't really know the history of it, but it's probably a pretty old iteration of it. Um, that's pretty nice. And I have occasionally I, I pull it out um if i'm wanting to do some analog um analog pass throughs um i have an alicia expressor 500 series <laughs> um, really cool uh transparent compressor but there's some cool features in there that i think i don't know if there's a transformer in there or not but it's <laughs> essentially adding another component that can make it sound really nice and they just call it warm um, <laughs> it's literally li literally <laughs> it's I'm, it's i think it's just called uh yeah, it's just called warm mode, so why not? Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah stick it through the valve, it will be done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why not? So, yeah, that's pretty much like the 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 brains of the operation um, in this room where I do majority of the mastering. Cool. So that's that that is your mastering suite, as it were. Um, yeah. Do you it with other people, I assume you do or not. I don't. Yeah, we do. So this room at the moment, it's it's evolving. Um, it's been for a long time, kind of what we've been calling a producer suite. So we have gear in here to record um occasionally we'll have some like people just do like plug in a laptop and do some songwriting in here the idea in the i think the long maybe the long-term plan is to eventually build out this room um to make it one more acoustically treated although we have some good gik panels and i was gonna say I, I noticed the ones behind you that yeah and in, in honest and honestly kudos to gik they make some great products and it's made this room considering again we like the walls haven't been like insulated or anything like that um it's made it really really nice so shout out shout out to gik yeah but i think a long term will be to maybe build this room out a little bit more um and all that but um for what we're at right now i'm able to get pretty nice results okay cool well um so the, as someone that does spend a lot of time recording or mixing mastering mainly in your sure. case um yeah do you actually i mean i know that you're a musician um you're a social media fantastic guitarist um Thank you. and is do you ever listen to music and are you able to relax and enjoy it or is that always in the back of your mind that mm -hmm. little bit of, or what i would do or you know all this it's sort of it's it's, uh, it's mostly the latter um i i was actually talking to someone um about just about this like maybe a week ago and it, it is one of those things where it's like, you know, working on records, you know, like as a, for a living and all that, it's hard to, it's hard to take that aspect out of your, out of your head more, more so your ears, because it's, it's just become such a second nature um, habit. Right. Um, I don't know if it's the same, like say for, like for you or, or anyone that, especially like yourself that works in audio as well, but um there's it's it's really hard to take that aspect out of it that doesn't mean that i can i can put on music and kind of you know like some other people maybe have it in the background or maybe not actively listening um but even if i'm just like listening and i am quote actively listening um there is that side of me that maybe i lean towards something about the recording right i think me as a music like you mentioned kind of from the standpoint of being a musician as well um i always somehow gravitate towards listening to the band and maybe not as much as the vocalist um mm -hmm. hence maybe why i'm really bad at uh for uh memorizing like famous lyrics for songs whenever i'm at like a party or something like that if people are singing <laughs> singing a song i'm like i don't know the lyrics or whatever because i'm just but you know the melody right <laughs> yeah i know the oh yeah, yeah. I, know the, I know the melody but like i'll just be focusing in on man that that bass is really locked in with that kick drum and in, in, in the drums what and then I'll just probably go into a wormhole of like, uh, what compressor did they use on that kick <laughs> drum to make it sound so punchy and all that? Um, yeah, I have to I have to train myself. That's it. That's a training exercise in its own is to step away just as much as we train ourselves to step into the music and and learn it. Um, really. Equally important to step away and just enjoy it for what it's worth. Mm. Yeah, fair enough fair enough so um yeah i mean harking back to the whole music thing and you playing guitar um is that a is that a recent thing that you've sort of as you mentioned earlier uh that you started jamming out with your friend um so how long has that been going on for it's been about yeah 15 to 20 years of that um and i i love it um i don't get to play 
as much as I'd like, mainly because I'm, you know, I'm deep into the into the studio territory. I I try to have the musician's mindset whenever I work mm. um, as well, because it it really does help get into the headspace of the artist. You know, I think that's my biggest goal as a mastering engineer is to try to preserve what they had in their head. Mm -hmm at the very beginning um because that was one of the most purest moments of any musician um can have is when they yeah, first yeah. come up with a riff when they come up with a chord progression a, a melody a lyric you know us mastering engineers we're the last ones you know do a, a check thumbs up before it's ready to be sent out so there's there's a lot of pressure that comes with it maybe self-pressure <laughs> but i think it's nice to know that you know, again, as a musician, we can kind of, you know, hone it all in together because that's really what this is at the end of the day. It's musicians making art. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, well, I mean, we make the technology behind it. You guys, we wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Um, and obviously the musicians it's as a, well. It, you know, it, we make it, it all it's a team effort, though, you yeah. know, you know, y'all make the gear. We couldn't be making the types of final results without y'all's products. So it's a it's a whole family of, yeah. of an ecosystem. Talking about mastering and mixing and, and making music and all this sort of thing. So do you, are you allowed to tell us or can you tell us about any future products that you're going to be working on or is it such last minute bookings and all this sort of thing that. Yeah. Um, I'd say a lot of the stuff I've been getting lately through the label has been kind of like, you know, here it is. I don't really hear about it so much in advance. Um, but I usually will know about it when it's already mixed and it just comes my way. I have a friend um that introduced me to one of his friends out in seattle he's a great 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 metal progressive metal songwriter um guitar player his name is shane hayes a terrific terrific musician he's been sending me a lot of work lately so thank you shane if, if you ever watch this um he has been sending me such great work the music is fresh and all that um i'm currently working on one of another song of his um that um hopefully we'll get that out pretty soon um he's probably been one of those guys though lately that um has been keeping you know not only the the, the workflow coming um but also keeping the excitement of the work really mm. really nice that's very cool that's very cool i'll have to check out shane she was it shane hayes shane hayes yeah i don't know i i'm not sure if he's putting it out under his own name or something else um but um he's on it he's on social media um mm. Sure. All that. Really, really yeah totally cool well i mean hopefully uh fingers crossed you know i'll, I'll be out in new york and in, in october and we can catch up then and we'll see how those future projects that you mentioned uh, yeah <laughs> go no in. totally we'll listen through you know the dax over here and we'll, mm. we'll make it we'll make it sound nice and pretty all right zach well thank you very much um it's been wonderful talking to you yes thank you for having me on this I, it was it was a lot of fun